So, hi guys. Uh, this is the uh, continuation of my tutorial from installing Windows Server 2008. So, uh, the next thing you need to do after installing is uh, configuring the initial configurations task. Okay. So, this uh, page appears right after you log in at the very first time. Now, there are only a few things you need to configure here to get started. So, you can see set time zone, configure networking, provide name and uh, computer name in, in domain, uh, and all of these things below. So, let's start to check this one, uh, firewalls and all. So, let's start with your time zone. Your time zone, of course, dictates where you are located at. So, uh, for now, we are going to check our time zone. Uh, as of now, we are in the Philippines, so we should take plus 8. Plus 8, uh, yeah, there you go, Taipei, we can get it on. That's the nearest time zone to us. All right. And then we can configure your networking. So, it will redirect us to our uh, uh, network uh, device. Uh, IPv4 and then uh, if you are setting up a server it is always recommended to use uh, static so we're going to set this one is static I choose uh, a class B network and uh, it depends on what uh, range of IP you want to use so for me I just use the default for uh, class B that will be 172. Oh, no. okay. 172.20.20. Uh, I'll, I'll just put five down, or let's say one, okay? Submit mask, you know, we can put it for uh, uh, net mask for 24, okay? Default gateway, uh, take note on this one because uh, this is the IP address of the router which is connected over the internet. So, uh, this depends on uh, on the configuration of your network. So, right now, I'll just use uh, another IP address 172 be belonging to same subnet 172.20.20 I'll just use um, uh, 5 okay and then preferred DNS you can leave the blank if, if you have a DNS uh, server uh, provided to you use it um, for now it is that's good enough for us configuring this one uh, but if yeah let's just put one let's just put the uh, IP address of our router 172.20.20.5 they'll do okay uh, that's it that's how to configure that one so details there you go close. close okay we're done with your uh, networking we're going to provide computer name so first you're going to change The name so I'm going to call this one as uh, DZ1 domain controller one okay and then okay you must restart to apply this okay close restart now so there you go our computer uh, I just restarted it's lagging Sorry. All right. So let's check our uh, computer name properties. Okay, there you go. DC one. That's the computer name. Now the next thing we're going to do is computer name and domain. Okay, it's still, that's the okay. Uh, we can just uh, leave this one there. Uh, we'll not configure the one. Uh, okay, download and install updates. So it depends on you if you want to turn this on now or maybe later. So I'll just leave it that way so that it will not be downloading a lot of packages from the internet since uh, uh, it will uh, take time. And then here we can just leave add roles and add features. We can do that one later. So, uh, we also need to uh, enable remote desktop so that we can uh, configure your server remotely from um, not uh, just in front of the server. So, if you're away on another lab or on another area of the building, you can connect to the one. So, 
uh, allow connections from computers running any versions of remote desktop. So it is uh, there, it says less secure. And then the other one is allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with the network level authentication. So uh, this, also, uh, this um, uh, option here is good, but I always use this one. So let's just use this one. Okay, then apply, then okay. And then here, as you can see here, configure Windows Firewall, it's on. So uh, it's better to be on. Uh, don't turn it off, okay? So after these initial configurations were done, uh, you can tick this box here. Do not show this Windows at logon. So because if you're not going to check that one, every time you log on to this uh, server, we'll have this initial configurations test popping out. So since we already done the initial configuration here, uh, we can uh, check that one and close. And that's it. So coming up next, we are going to, uh, I'll be doing another video for installing roles like DHCP, DNS, and in the Active Directory. Okay, so see you next time. And uh, uh, just uh, wait for more videos coming.